Technology enables Healthways to deliver proven outcomes and well-being improvement to millions of individuals. The sophistication of our technology platform allows us to aggregate data from a variety of sources, translate this data into the needs of a population, and ultimately deliver well-being interventions for every member of a population. We call this the well-being plan. We know that well-being improvement through the well-being plan correlates to higher productivity and presenteeism, lower medical costs, and ultimately generates economic value. Recent federal policies that have reformed the way that we, the payment structure, as well as healthcare delivery, are critical to Healthways' future innovations. As we look to reform both on paying for quality and also sharing financial risk with providers, tools like Wellbeing Connect that increase engagement, extend the reach of the physician, and ultimately improve health and well-being are vital to the success of healthcare delivery. As uh, one of the country's first accountable care organizations, Mission Point Health Partners embraced telehealth technology very early on. And we did so for a number of different reasons. The first was to improve access to our, our members and patients. We service patients hours away from the urban center here in Nashville and found telehealth to be a key integrator into improving access between patients and their physicians. The second was to lower costs. Uh, patients were driving hours at a time to visit their physician for 30 minutes or an hour and at the same time uh, they weren't uh, visiting with the degree of frequency and consequently quality became a concern and so our innovation around building a virtual care network that expands into physician offices, into homes and even into employers was key to improving access, quality and the costs for both patients and the entire system. The second piece that we've been very mindful of is the policy environment in which we operate in and we've been very fortunate that legislation has embraced telehealth in new and exciting ways. On some, one side is reimbursement, that uh, reimbursement policies have caught up to be able to uh, really reward physicians by embracing this new technology. And the second is uh, allowing ways for uh, physicians to practice across state boundaries and really improve the access to primary care and other key services that many communities have to do without. And so apart from the core uh, competencies of improving access, quality, and lowering costs, this telehealth innovation is also empowered and blazing trails around the new policy environments and the key functions that will be required for its success in the future. Our innovation, our technology uh, consolidates uh, data from multiple data sources. Um, inside the four walls of a hospital, a hospital can control the data around any given patient and the records and they have a central point outside. Uh, patients go to multiple doctors, multiple hospitals, potentially even multiple uh, payers and carriers. We serve as a central point uh, primarily around medications. Um, we consolidate all of the medical, medication, and even lab data around an individual member and then run evidence-based algorithms using the technology and then use that same technology to then push out uh, to all of the caregivers in that patient's care continuum. That would be the physicians, the prescribers the pharmacists or pharmacies and or the patient to get everyone on the same page. Uh, as a result, we improve not just the clinical outcomes of the member and keep them out of hospitals and uh, improve their health and well-being, but we also reduce the cost of the system by driving them to the lowest cost care and arguably if medications are used appropriately, that is the lowest cost of care out there. Recent federal policies, uh, several years ago, Medicare Part D came out. One of the legislated mandates in that is that uh, Medicare plans would use medication therapy management. CMS has done a phenomenal job of improving those regulations by adding quality components, focus on real outcomes and the delivery of that. As a result of that legislation, um, the opportunity to manage millions of members at a time in a population-based care program around medication management has actually driven down the costs in the plans, 
reduced the cost for the members and improved the health of the individual patients. While well, recent health care legislation is necessary and well-meaning, uh, it's, rapid, it's rapidly pushing technology into the workplace. It's uh, primarily being developed by well-meaning and highly competent IPT people with some clinical input. But in the end, it gives uh, us, the clinician, activity-based uh, tools which may not fit how we practice. Unfortunately, the unintended consequence has been that it often adds steps to how we practice and slows the sequence of how we see patients. Here at Sumner Regional Medical Center, we took a different approach. We got our clinicians together and came up with the best way to practice, and then got our IT people to build a system that worked for us. Meaningful Use promotes um, uh, standardization of workflow and data capture, and um, th this um, innovation optimizes those workflows. Uh, in healthcare, we don't want to just do individual things well, we want to do lots of things well. Uh, so if we did uh, individual things well at 90% and there were 10 things that we needed to do, uh, that would mean 34% of the time patients got the thing that they needed to get. If we do things at 60% uh, individually and do those across 10 things, that means only 0.6% of the time patients are getting what they need. This innovation uh, provides um, uh, real-time visualization of patient uh, status and coordination across roles to allow for real-time course correction before the patient leaves the uh, care setting, as well as Z100 improvement opportunity reports to fully optimize the entire system to drive to high performance and desired outcome.